What's up, Cast Clash Hirsch here, and I am on J Boy Six. Now, this is a White Knights UK member. Excuse me, I'm hitting my desk. I'm hitting all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up. You can see me in there. I got my uh, camera back on. Um, this isn't the phone I typically film with, so anytime I'm filming with my regular phone, and yeah, you're not gonna see that. Ooh, Castle Clash just emailed me. I'll check that out. It's probably a ticket I sent in about. Uh, a couple accounts getting consumed, but anyways, we got a J Boy Six account. This is an awesome White Knights UK member. Um, we can check out the guild right here. We got a couple slots open here, guys. Hey, if you're a high might player and you want a guild that uh, is no no donation guild uh, for you, boss three around uh, uh, twelve o'clock or or uh, nineteen o five or twenty one o five on Torch Day. So they do it on. At torch time on torch days, but uh, 12 o'clock uh, noon, that's going to be midday server time. Um, this is going to be a good guild for you. This is a great, great guild in the White Knights family, rising up the ranks fast. So check it out. Um, since 635, 124 by might. So it's getting up there pretty quick. This is fairly new guild too. So, but anyways, we've got some rolling to do. We've got a couple new heroes we want to get. And uh, I think we're going to evolve a Skull Knight as well. Yeah, he's ready to go. Look at that 5-5 five, five in light, and that's a beauty right there. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Um, we got, uh, we're got. we missing the newest heroes, I believe, so we're going to roll for those. I think we got... I'll make one spot open by consuming that hero. It looks like we were feeding the Skull Knight anyway, so we'll drop that guy on there. Yeah. All right, and then uh, we'll roll heroes, we'll roll a couple talents, we'll uh, evolve the Skull Knight, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and start us out um, by rolling heroes. Make sure we've got room in the warehouse real quick. Uh, 24 out of 50, yeah, there should be plenty of room. Plenty of room. All right, higher with gems. Here we go. We've got, ooh, a pixie right off the bat. I like I like getting legendaries in the first roll. That's a lot of green I just saw though. I don't like that. Druid. Come on. Let's see if we can get Skull Knight. There's a Skull Knight for us to evolve the Skull Knight with. That's pretty sweet. And by the way, guys, if you're wanting a might account, and that's a lot of no legendaries. I'm gonna go here. Um, if you're wanting a might account, you should keep all Skull Knights. Skull Knights and Ninjas give the highest might of all the legendary heroes. Uh, looks like we already had the Pixie, so we didn't get a new hero there. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go see what uh, heroes we have in here. And looks like we got plenty of stuff to evolve. We did have a Skull Knight to evolve him with, so we're good there. We'll go evolve him for him right now. Hit that evolve button. Oh, we need to get the uh, buy items. Trade fame. Wow, 9,000 fame. He's been saving it up a little bit. Here we go. Get that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hero. When he gets evolved, he looks even cooler, and he's already freaking awesome. Yes, we want those books. Yeah, beastly school night. You're freaking awesome. And so with this enlightened, we don't want to use any books on him. We want to use all these books on somebody else. This is the goal with enlightened. Um, so everybody says, well, what's the point in leveling him to two hundred um, if you just get the same amount of experience back that you level? Uh, past one eighty. So the answer is enlightened makes the difference because you get twice the experience so uh, when you get the books you're gonna get um, half of those books are essentially free books when you have a 5-5 five, five enlightened hero so you level a 5-5 five, five enlightened hero up to 200 you evolve him and then you put the books into somebody else and you you essentially get to uh, get two heroes to um, up to the same amount that you Got for the price of one so that's that's the whole point in that so we're not going to use any books to level him up that's all going to be done in dungeons and here be monsters and things like that all right we've got some more gems we can roll see if we can get 
Something. A new hero, please. Let's get a golem. Another freaking Skull Knight. Oh my god. It is just raining Skull Knights. Again, guys, like I said, though, Might is based off of hero speed. And that's a Thunder God, not a golem. I thought it was a golem for a second. So, Skull Knights, if you're wanting a high Might account, fill your altar with Skull Knights. All right. I'm not getting any heroes, and I wanted a hero. Let's roll... What do we have left? 5,000 gems? Let's roll four talent rolls, and then we'll go back to hero rolls. We've got some beastly talents on this account. There's a couple fours, though, I'm seeing. So they've got the four war god there, four berserk, a four five revite, four scatter. Ooh, we got the five fives in the right spot, though. Let's, uh... Alright, so I'm, I'm not gonna... Trade. Ooh, he's got a four scorch there. So let's go see if there's somebody down here that doesn't have a four or better. We'll try. Oh, we got lots of enlightens. I like that. And look at all these right here, guys. Ninjas. Just what I was talking about. When you want a might account, you. Ooh, man. So many five five enlightens. Those are going to be so nice for getting free books. Essentially, you get to level up those heroes for free. For free. There's another five five enlightened. Um, and so right now I know it doesn't seem like it's worth it because you got to spend the fame to evolve them. But once all your main heroes are evolved and you have most of your talents leveled up, all of a sudden that fame kind of doesn't really get used much. Okay, so there's real no, no point in keeping this 4 of 8 Scorch. Everybody in the altar is 4 or better, so that's freaking awesome. Um, always do this guys if you roll a four or five or better talent go put it on a might booster uh, and make sure I click the right thing okay change we're changing yes okay don't want to put it on Vlad did, did I press it do I need to press it again okay nothing I'm just gonna do four rolls and then back to uh, no uh, I, one, two more. Uh, no, still, still shit. No, no good talent there. Well, come on, we gotta get something out of these gems. I mean, other than Skull Knights galore. Candy cane! Yes, alright. We got something. We got the candy cane. The, the beautiful candy cane. The little Playboy bunny. She's, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. Are you kidding me? I mean, look at this. Look at this. She is, she is dressed way too sexy for a video game. I mean, I'm definitely not complaining, guys. Don't get me wrong in any way, shape, or form. I love this hero. This is probably my new favorite hero. She's just so gorgeous. And she's pretty badass, too. She's, she definitely put the women of this game on the market. Because prior to her, there really wasn't many powerful female heroes so i love her for that she's sexy and she's fucking powerful that's amazing all right let's go make sure that spot's still there it is and let's open her up and get her a talent with what gems are left and go heroes god look at all these skull knights i freaking rolled there's two left after i ate one for evolving open them up da -da -da -da, candy cane Oh man, I wish my candy cane was that cheap. Guys, yes, I rolled candy cane. You'll see a video of her, at least one video of her tonight, maybe two videos tonight. It cost me $1,200 to roll candy cane. And that is not exaggerating. That was, it is, she is officially the most expensive, not the most expensive hero for hero in and talent, but she's the most expensive hero for me to roll. Um, Ares cost me the most as far as rolling both hero and talent, but uh, Candy Cane cost me the most just to get her. All right, so I mean it's a four or five, so I'm gonna put it on there, just at least until we get something. And I I don't know how many more. I'll I'll do two more rolls. Oh 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 no no no. Two more rolls into talents before, and that's it. Yep, okay. So I'm not going to waste any more of his gems. He's got 400 gems left just in case he has a, a quest board or something we need to do. Um, so we'll do that. All right, that's freaking awesome. We got the candy cane. Super stoked about that. We evolved the Skull Knight, rolled an impressive amount of Skull Knights. It's just stupid. 
And uh, there we go. Um, I don't know if we have eggs that we need to go smash in there or anything like that. I'll go take a look. Let's put Candy Cane out on the base, though. So when he logs on, when uh, Mr. J-Boy logs on, he'll see his beautiful new hero, his sexy little Playboy bunny. Oh, my God, look at her run. Look at her go. She's going to jump. Jump. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's getting a little weird. I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. That that was that was weird. I know it was weird. Okay, there we go. All right, see if we got any events we need to do. Uh, I don't know if we do or not. Oh, we got the uh, Uncover the Treasure gems. There we go. We at least get to Uncover the Treasure. I don't know if he bought the gems because it's just after reset. So, okay, not, not there. But we've got the Uncover the Treasure. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Still, uh, still trying to get over this cough. 40 shards, 10 merits, 10 merits, 900 honor badges, 30 merits, honor badges, gems, honor, merit, honor, and gems, honor, dipped. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, you guys. That's it for me on this video. Uh, huge shout out to Jay for letting me jump on his account and do this rolling video. I love rolling gems, guys. I do, I do. Um, lots of people ask me to roll gems on their accounts. Unfortunately, unless I know you really well, I'm not going to roll on your account. Or I, I, I basically only roll on my guild members' accounts, guys. If you're one of my guild members and you want me to roll gems, I'll probably roll for you. Um, if you're not one of my guild members, I got I got to know you. Um, I'm not just gonna roll on some random person's account. So um, if you haven't ever talked to me before, probably not gonna roll on your account, guys. I'm sorry. Um, nothing against you. I just a lot of trust gets involved when it comes to rolling people's money or me putting money on people's accounts. Anyways, that's it. If you want to join a good guild and you got some high might, I think like 120k might or something like that, jump in uh, White Knights UK. Awesome guild. No donations. Uh, great leader, Izzy's doing an amazing job in there. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm out. Bye.